Hey, welcome back. You know, a lot of us might wonder, does uh, eating meat cause cancer, heart disease, those kinds of things? Well, there is a big Harvard study out, and we have Dr. John Day here to tell us, uh, well, what do they find? Is, 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 is right. it bad to eat meat? Three big findings. Okay. First of all, if you are healthy, no increased risk. But they define healthy as you don't smoke, you don't abuse alcohol, mm -hmm. you're exercising every day, and you're not overweight. All right. If you're short on one, there was risk. Okay, so give us an example here about uh, protein, or some of the things you can do maybe to supplement your meat eating that helps. Right, and this was very important. Actually, there's a lot of protein in plant-based sources. 100 calories of spinach has 10 grams of protein, 100 grams of, or 100 calories of a burger, eight. So there's actually more protein in spinach. I, I didn't realize there was that much protein. And the study showed that as you substitute even just a little bit, you can live 34% longer by substituting in a little plant-based protein. Okay, and you have some other examples yeah. here too with protein. Fish did very well in the study. Yeah, I can imagine it As did. you might imagine. And yeah. then other sources, whether it's nuts, seeds, legumes, um, these vegetables, these all did very well in the study. So I guess the big message is don't limit yourself when it comes to protein. Okay, and uh, I guess you can go to McDonald's every once in a while. It, it's a rare treat. <laughs> <laughs> a very rare treat. All right, back to you, Mary.